Y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M I Z Z not M I S S. I miss you guys. Hey, did you miss me? I missed you. The lip is down, so y'all already know I'm on camera. So let's get into it. Real Housewives of Atlanta, the season finale. You already know, and I will do an update video on the accident and stuff like that. Anyways, y'all, this season was very, very short, but um, I guess there's nothing going on. The shows this episode very dry, but I guess let's let's get into it. So it starts off where Phaedra is basically uh cooking some sweet potato fillet, whatever it is, and then she calls the molded fruit cake himself, the white, talking about she want to do this little Christmas party. That's when Portia comes over. She looked really cute in that orange, but my thing is, I hope y'all bitches do not get all done up to come to people's houses, cause bitch, please, she probably just got off of work. But anyways, she sits up there and shows her this whole little story about the feds coming to Candy's house, cause apparently they wanted to talk about this on Dish Nation, I guess. Phaedra seemed very unamused, like, mm, well, and I'm 50-50. I hope Phaedra didn't have nothing to do with that because if you do Phaedra, you deserve to get your ass whooped by Candy. You deserve to get your ass whooped by Candy either way from the fact that how you was throwing shade at her husband and the confessionals. You never know. She might just do that since she just dropped that baby, but we shall see at the reunion. Anyways, after that, um... You know, they start talking about what's going on as far as with the party and stuff. She's doing this little dance number with Chris or whatever. And then that's when, again, Portia starts throwing shade at Chris. Like, no, ma'am. Leave him alone as far as with that whole bullshit. You might want to do some research on what a Broadway should. Or maybe you probably know you just being funny. But that shit was not cute, okay? And I'm with Faith. I'll give you that look too. Like, bitch, stop, okay? Anyways, then also, um... Portia, one more thing. Don't be sitting up here throwing that shit up in the air. Talking about, I hope Candy don't think that you did something because unless Phaedra said it, which she seemed unfazed by, you shouldn't even brought that shit up. But then Phaedra wants to talk about, well, I wonder how Candy would have felt if I had tossed stuff. But my thing is, maybe the feds got the tip from y'all mentioning this shit on the show because it did happen after y'all said it, but we don't know. I'm 50 50. Maybe she did call, maybe she didn't, but I guess. Speaking of Candy, Candy goes. And um, her and Ty go see Mama Joyce's, not Mama Joyce's, but Mama Sharon's um, gravesite. And Lord, I got a little choked up because I was like, damn, woo. Mama Sharon, she was a real life of the party. I feel so sorry for Todd and Candy, and I'm glad to see that they're working through it. And I do believe Mama Sharon would be very, very proud of Todd and Candy because, you know, for one, getting married, being happy, and having a little boy, too. And again, it's fucked up that Mama Sharon had to pass away from Mama Joyce to get her motherfucking act together. Although I understand that's how life is, but I'm glad you got your act together before the damn Lord came knocking at your door like... Bitch, you ready? I'm just saying it is what it is. Or maybe the devil. I'm not even going to go there. But, you know, I'm glad that they got into it. Not got into it, but got it together as far as Mama Joyce and Todd. I'm glad they're at better places, too. You know, and may Mama Sharon rest in peace. Oof. And I'm happy that Candy and Todd had a, you know, healthy baby. I already know how I feel about that. But, mm. but let's go and press play to the next scene. All right, y'all. Next, we see Kenya and Matt or whatever. Kenya is doing her... um. In her closet, Matt comes up with two, you know, surprises for her two early Christmas presents. There's two um, Yorkie puppies. Oh, it's just so cute. We all see Velvet has been reincarnated into two. You know, it's just so sweet. I lot like Kenya and Matt relationship. Regardless of what the blogs say, if they're together or not, I'm still happy for them. Love is love. I don't give a fuck if I don't fuck with you like that. As long as you ain't killing innocent people and harming innocent people for no fucking reason, I want everybody to have love in their life. Especially if it's genuine love, you know, and Matt seems like he genuinely likes her. So they all talk about the whole thing about Phaedra's party because that's what Kenya was trying to look for. Apparently, Kenya's a Jehovah Witness. I had an old best friend that was a Jehovah's Witness as well. So she told me about that, and that was really nice, you know, to see because it is true. They don't really celebrate all that BS, you know, I already know. So she's going to come out with something, you know, and then they talk about the whole feds coming to Candy's house and not Cynthia, but Kenya talking about, you know, that's, you know, you sitting up here calling the feds, that's against the hood code or some shit like that. But I I'm with Matt. Y'all motherfuckers far from the hood, which they really are. But, you know, like I said, I'm happy to see them doing their thing. Anyways, on to Cynthia. Cynthia and the Motor Salt Pepper Shaker trying to get their groove back. She's sitting up here trying to have this little massage. Her and Mallory set up. But my thing is, why the fuck did you set up in the kitchen? That could have been in the living room, the den area, somewhere, or the bedroom. Not in my motherfucking kitchen. I'm just saying this is what it is. I understand she's trying to do an effort. As soon as Peter sees it, he's like, oh, look at him. You know, motor salt pepper shaker, like, oh my god, I'm gonna be used on the grilled chicken breast foot long. Oh my god, that's what he was so excited. Started taking off his clothes, tried to take off his drawers, and Cynthia trying to talk, I'm like, wait a minute now, wait a minute. I'm like, girl, you just got girl. Then when she gets on top of him, girl, your damn knee all up in his ballage area, girl, come on now. My ass haven't been with a man for damn near 10 years, and I don't plan on going back unless I'm trying to have a baby, I'm trying to do it the cheap way. Girl, even I know how to climb up 
Mm-hmm. Damn, I already I know how to ride my damn girlfriend better than that. I'm just saying, girl, we all know you you done got no way. I'm pretty sure you know how to ride. Get your stiff ass some damn groove, okay? Get you some groove, girl. Anyways. Ugh. And another thing, girl, I'ma need you to plan your damn sex capades on time, or should I say at a better time, for your ass not to know that your damn child and your damn baby daddy coming up in there, girl. Maybe if you would have had it in the living room or had it up in your damn room, they probably wouldn't have seen shit. Oh, you put you could have put the deadbolt on the damn lock, too. I'm just saying, girl, I'm going to need you to know when your kid is going out to town or going with their daddy, fucking up the damn groove. But, of course, they got the groove back, and again, I wish y'all nothing but the best. Of course, it takes two to work it out in a relationship, so it is what it is. But, girl, come on now, Cynthia. Mm. Let's go on press play to the next scene. All right, y'all, next we see Portia and her sister going to the doctor, you know, to check on everything as far as with the fibroids and her pregnancy and stuff because, of course, she's feeling overwhelmed that, you know, her sister's pregnant, her friends are pregnant, and she's not because, you know, that was her life, you know, because the last time she was there was with Cordelia, you know, she was trying to have twins and all this stuff, and Cordelia's like, you know, his ass, whatever. Anyway, so she goes talk to the doctor and come to find out she got rid of one big fibroid, but there's still some fibroids that came back, but it's no, like, risk to the pregnancy. She could still have a, a healthy baby, and even the doctor gave her some hope is talking about you know I had my baby in my late 30s and my other baby in my 40s so it's okay you know so she feels a lot better but I'm glad they brought awareness about us as women especially black women should get checked because that is something that we should do so I'm glad they brought awareness of that and Portia baby it's okay if you can't have one trust and believe adoption because there's a lot of kids that would love to be loved okay I'm just saying it is what it is but I understand everybody wants that experience you know even I, even I but when the time is right but if I can't you know I damn sure will adopt to save a child's life and give them love that they probably need and want so much you know so many kids in the system but anyways let's go and press play to the next scene all right, y'all. So next, uh, we see Phaedra going to go check on the venue for her, you know, Christmas party. The molded fruit cake himself got everything together. Looked really, really nice. And, of course, Phaedra mentions about everybody showing up on time because we already know color people time. That's what they normally do. And, you know, the molded fruit cake was like, this shit going to start on time regardless of not. So you go ahead and go home and get ready. This shit going to go off without a hitch on time. Okay. Okay. Then, um, as everybody starts to show up because, you know, it goes tonight, Phaedra shows up with Aiden and, you know, two other little um, elves. You know, of course, they were, you know, doing or whatever and my thing is why was Aiden there it's adults there if Kim didn't bring her kids why the hell is Aiden there anyways you know she shows up and then that's when we see Bob in this damn gin soaked pimped out Santa outfit no nigga like he like even Aiden was like that ain't Santa Claus that shit was gave him some cold and everything like come on now Bob you look like you didn't hit that damn ball of Hennessy before, at least two or three times before you came up in there. I'm just saying, just back in the bitch, whatever. It was funny too, though. Um, Sheree's there too. They all take a picture, and it's, of course, it's a little awkward with Sheree and Bobby kiss her on the, you know. And then, of course, Tammy comes, and of course, as soon as Sheree sees Tammy, she's like, let me go talk to this for a second. And then that's when she pulls Bob and Tammy together because she saw them talking and go over there. And that's when she tells Tammy, did you tell Bob, you know, about what happened in Miami? And that's when Tammy's like, Bob, tell this woman you ain't sleep with me. Tell the woman we're not sleep together. And Bob does the old Bill Clinton, you know, oh, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I was like, Lord Jesus, Bob. And then that's when Tam was like, see, you know what? Because, of course, Sheree believed him, I guess. And then that's when uh, Tam was like, y'all motherfuckers just need to go ahead and get back together and walk clean, smooth, clean, smooth off. That would have been me, too. Then after that, we see Greg and Nene showing up. And Nene claimed that she turning over a new leaf. No, you're not, girl, because you were still messy to the damn molded fruitcake, okay? Even he was trying to be nice to you, you know. So I haven't seen you in a while. Throwing shade at him and stuff. And they going to talk about, yeah, the drink good, but it's kind of sweet. Girl, you didn't have to say all that. Just say the drink is good, thank you, and move the fuck on. Especially if you don't fuck with them like that. Doing a little bit too much, Nene. I'm just saying, you need to stop. After that, we see Portia and, of course, um, Shamia coming in. They looked all cute in their little, you know, penguin outfits. And that's, again, why I say, why is Aiden there? Of course, Aiden gave down there everybody cold or whatever. Kim is there, of course. And then um, I liked how Kim, and I'm like I said, I'm jumping around, y'all. I like how Kim told Faze, you know, if you need anything with what you're going through, me and my me and my um, husband and the boys are here for you. And I like that. And, again, Kim, you need to get off the show. Um, then we see... Um, of course, Cynthia and um, Peter showing up. And y'all, I have called him Peter instead of the Moja Salt and Pepper Shaker. Wow. Showing up or whatever. And Peter, you so motherfucking messy because also Candy and Todd showed up too. And before I even get to Peter, Phaedra, you claim that you the host. Why does it seem like it was awkward between you and Candy? You could have came over there and talked to Candy and check on Candy. Let it seem like you was avoiding her. My thing is, Candy, if you felt like that, she was doing that, which I think she was too, just cut your ties. You try it, girl. The Lord sees all and move the fuck on and deal with you and what you got going on in your life, girl. Later for Faith, girl.
Not fake tra, but fake wa. That's what I'm going to call her. Anyways, after that, um, Peter messy ass. Let me get back to damn Peter, because at first I was calling you Peter, now I'm going to call you the motor salt and pepper shaker. Your ass sitting up there messy, bringing up the Todd, did you get the check or whatever? And Todd talking about he didn't get, you know, the rest of his money. And this is where I'm going to go off on Phaedra for a second, before I even go off on the motor salt pepper shaker. Phaedra, you is... Fucking wrong for that shit. Your ass sitting up here throwing in this lavish party, but you ain't sitting up here and pay this man with the money that he is due. It couldn't have been me. Because me and you would have had exchange of words. I'm talking about Candy. Candy, I hope Candy checked your ass about that. And I damn sure hope she checked your ass about the shit that you said about her man in the confessionals. Because you wrong for that. And I would have been like what Lady Nika said. Bitch better have my motherfucking money. You sitting up here got time for this shit, but you can't pay me my money that is owed to me. But you... Girl, whatever. And Peter, you still a little messy ass queen. I know you want your peach so bad. Andy, give this nigga a plum because you brought that shit up there. Anyways, after that we see um Kenya showing up and Kenya looked really good in that whole Grinch theme. I like that she did that shit, you know. And then he stopped throwing shade at Kenya. Talk about if you come here and dress all green and still keep your man or whatever. Right on, girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. It was kind of funny, but don't do that. Let the girl be happy. It is what it is. Then um after that, they uh, do the little whole little tap dance thing with Chris and Phaedra, and I thought that was really cute or whatever. And um, that's when Kenya, of course, because I'm with everybody else, Andy told her to talk about this. Brings up the whole thing about the feds or whatever. Phaedra come over there like, what's going on, honey? And Kenya basically said, well, we talking about these feds raiding um, Candy House and Cynthia House. He's like, oh, they did? Mmm. And then walk clean, smooth off. That's what makes me think that Phaedra, you probably did have something to do with it, girl. But I don't know, I don't know, girl. We shall see. Then, um, you know, as far as everybody comes to the close, Cynthia talk about we, you know, this group, we got a sisterhood. Girl, y'all ain't got no motherfucking sisterhood. This some fake ass sisterhood, if you ask me. No, no, it's not. It's really not. Uh, Candy, not Candy and Nene talking, and Candy, well, Nene's like, I don't understand why every time me and Candy talk, she be giving me the eye. Nene, because that first impression shit, to me, I feel like ever since your first impression with uh, Candy was like fucked up, she like, bitch, I ain't really here for you. I, 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 I cool with you from a distance. I watch you. And I ain't mad at her, but I was with Candy when she said, let's do the restart button, because that's all y'all need to do. Just restart it over, you know. Let's be bygones be bygones and restart it, you know. But I was with Candy when, um, uh, Nene was talking about, girl, you ain't gained no baby weight. And that's when Candy was like, girl, I know if I did, you'd be talking about it. Some shit like that. But y'all know what I mean. And I clock her ass on that because she probably would have. Not probably, she would have. Anyways. And, you know, claiming that she got the baby a gift. You know, she give good gifts and now they all good. And I'm like, mm, all right. It is what it is. Now, let's go and get to what everybody's doing. All right. All right. All right. So, when it comes to Candy, you already know Candy had the baby. She don't know who called the feds on her. We will find out sooner one day. Okay, yeah. Portia, she's on Celebrity Apprentice doing her thing. I'm happy for you, girl. Keep doing your thing and making your moves. Kenya, uh, more manners almost done. Congratulations, girl. They're building a nursery. Oop, she might be pregnant. If you are, girl, congratulations on that. Hope you have a healthy pregnancy. Okay, okay. Kim, she now on Dancing with the Stars, and hopefully she don't come back because this is not for you, girl. Cynthia, her eyewear going good, and her and Peter, they still trying to make it work. Y'all handle that shit, I guess. And Phaedra, she keeping her private life private like we don't already know she fucking somebody else even before Apollo went to jail, I guess, girl. But when her divorce is final, that's when we're going to reveal, or she might reveal who she's been fucking. Girl... Please, as much as you talk about dick, I guess, girl. Anyways, overall, the season was okay. I mean, they just need a whole new cast and then come back. I don't want to see these ladies again. I've been seen enough of them eight years. And if they are, at least give us some real shit to talk about. That's why the season ended so quickly. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for watching it with me. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. You already know, check out my sister's site, check out my girl T and her blog, uh, my blog site, but YouTube, check out my girl Fish, my Harashi, my cousin Tremaine and his blog site, uh, Jasmine Washington, and of course my girl Tamaya. Bye, y'all.